Under the shade of an ancient fig tree, in a holy forest under the protection of goddesses, the Suntalai Spring emerges from the ground. It gives its name to the village that lives from its water. But the people of Suntalai are worried. The spring provides less water today than it did just a few years ago. The water is dwindling, but the population is growing. So more and more people have less and less of it. Many people no longer venerate this holy place the way they used to. Maybe that's why the goddesses are so upset and have gone away. The village prepares for a puja, a ritual in honor of the goddesses. The spiritual leaders of the village appeal to them for more water for the spring. Farmer Abhinarayan Pradhan is also hoping for divine favor. But he knows the worldly cause of the problem. The climate has changed. The monsoon season used to start at the right time. Even in the winter, we used to have rains once or twice a month. But now we don't get any rains during winter. That's how the climate has changed. It's summer now, and the monsoon is here. But there is much less rain than before. That means less water for the vital mountain springs. And the little rainfall there is flows into the rivers rather than seeping into the groundwater. Api and his daughter Aruna show us the path the spring water takes. It's piped into the homes in the village. <laughs> Api's wife Yamuna prepares the rice for lunch. Of course, she uses water from the spring. The village households use it for everything. <coughs> On average, each of the 150 villagers uses 35 liters of spring water every day. That water is then lacking in the fields. The little spring is also used for irrigation because the farmers can't afford pumps to get water from the river. The lack of water means that Api will harvest less rice this year. There is less rain, so we have not been able to sow the seeds at the best time. In past years, everybody would have planted by this time. I don't know what's happened with the rain this year, but somehow we'll manage. That's because the farmers of Suntalai are no longer leaving their spring's future to the goddesses. A government advisor shows them what can be done. Earth is dug up in a fallow rice field above the spring. Ditches like these will capture rainwater, allowing it to seep into the ground and thus provide the spring with more water. We got a chance to expose our visit to other states in India, like Uttarakhand. We saw there, it's working. The result is nice. So we try here. Let's see the result within the three years. I'm sure, I'm sure that it works. We hope our work will make the spring flow more abundantly again. Then we'll finally have more water for our fields, our livestock and our homes and for school lunches as well. Change of scene. About two hours by car to the southwest is the village of Palitam. It has always been one of Sikkim province's driest areas. But now, everything is green. Two years ago, the farmers began digging hundreds of ditches. The roots of the vegetation they planted store water. 
This will release the release the water in dry season, and uh, uh, this will automatically uh, give changes to our uh, discharge of our spring also. Now the spring flows abundantly, and the villagers profit from it. They plant corn, and since more water is available, they can even plant chili peppers. We used to spend 400 rupees a week on vegetables. Now we grow our own vegetables and can save money. Her neighbor, who has the village's only greenhouse, is considered very progressive. The extra water enables him to grow four crops of tomatoes a year instead of just two. When I add up everything I grow, I earn a total of about 350,000 rupees a year, ten times as much as before. More water means more wealth for Palitam. And the villagers are getting along better now as well. When there was a shortage of water, the villagers used to fight about it. But now the cold war on water has stopped. There's plenty of water. And a farmers club has been founded, where all the farmers come together to talk. We're very happy. <laughs> The people of Palitam have engineered their happiness themselves, without relying solely on divine protection. <laughs>